Hey there, welcome back to our Harkla YouTube channel. We are so thrilled to have you here today. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jessica, and we're the Certified Occupational Therapy Assistants with Harkla, and today we're gonna share our 10 favorite resources on primitive reflexes. So whenever we talk about primitive reflexes on social media, people are always asking us, how do we learn more about primitive reflexes? What are they? Where can we learn more about this super random wild topic? So we decided to put it all into a video and just share with you some of our favorite resources where we have learned a lot and where we just feel like it's a great place for you to start. Really quick though, before we do that, we do want to share with you what primitive reflexes are and why they're so important, and then we'll share where you can learn more. So, primitive reflexes, these are reflexes that we're all born with, all babies have them, and they are designed to help keep a new baby alive and alert the caregivers of if the infant needs something, and they're also helping to promote developmental milestones like rolling, crawling, and walking. You're also designed to have these reflexes integrate or mature or go away because they are developed in your brainstem. Now, ideally, they'll integrate on their own on a specific timeline, kind of like we reach developmental milestones at certain ages, these reflexes should go away, but for a variety of reasons, they don't integrate and they get stuck in our body, and then they cause ongoing challenges with higher level learning skills. So you kind of imagine the brain getting stuck in this lower cognitive motor pattern. Now what we love to do as therapists and parents is we love to work on these retained primitive reflexes. These primitive reflexes that get stuck in the brainstem and cause challenges, there are really fun ways that you can help the body and the brain integrate those reflexes at later ages. Our brain is very plastic, so it can grow and change and create new neural pathways at any time. And so it's one thing that we really love to do. We love to help families do this. We love to help teach therapists how to do this. So that's what we're gonna to share today. We're gonna to share our 10 favorite resources for primitive reflexes where if you're a parent, you can go learn more. If you're a teacher or educator, you can learn more. And if you're a therapist, you can learn more about these primitive reflexes in order to help your clients. So in addition to being occupational therapy assistants, we are also certified primitive reflex clinical specialists, which we recently got that certification. And we're going to talk to you about where we got that certification from to help us learn even more about reflex integration. The first resource that we have for you are free resources. So we have our YouTube channel that you're here watching now. Make sure that you go to the Harkla YouTube channel main page and you can actually go to our playlist titled Primitive Reflexes to find all of our free videos on primitive reflexes. We have a video that teaches you how to screen for potentially retained primitive reflexes. We have videos on each of the primitive reflexes that we have specialized in we teach you what it is what it looks like and we give you some activities that you can do with your child or your clients to address those reflexes additionally we have a free podcast it's the all things sensory podcast and we have episodes on primitive reflexes primitive reflex integration we have interviews with other specialists. We have interviews with parents on primitive reflexes. So there's a lot of free content on our website, harkla.co, and you can find everything there for free that you can digest as you are learning more. Yes. So once you've digested all of that free information and you're like, okay, I've, I've, got, I've got my head kind of wrapped around it, but I need more of a specific plan to integrate these reflexes and test for them. And I need more fun and functional ways to you know, integrate these reflexes. And if, you know, if you're an OT or a CODA like us, maybe you need some AOTA CEUs as well. The next place that I would stop is at our digital course, our primitive reflex course. It is 10 and a half hours of video and lecture and demonstrations. It really is the all encompassing course that we felt was missing from the primitive reflex space. You know, we learned a lot about 
what we know about reflexes from mentorship and we just feel like that was lacking so it's almost like a course plus mentorship altogether because you, we do offer our, dis our discussion forum that you can comment and hang out with us and ask your questions and just have access to us. So our Primitive Reflex digital course, it will be linked in the, all of these will be linked in the description below but it's definitely the next stopping point on your journey. One more thing that I do want to share about our Primitive Reflex course is it does come with this giant workbook that is designed for pediatric therapists. It comes with the AOTA version of our course, but it is your one-stop shop for all things primitive reflexes. We show you, we have images in here of testing all of the reflexes, activities for integrating all of the reflexes. We have activity cards. You can easily make a copy, laminate, you can send it home as a home exercise program with your clients. It is a fantastic resource. And again, something that was missing, we were like, hey, we should probably create this resource because as therapists, we need something that's easy, that's easy to refer back to so that when you are working on these activities, you know that you're doing them with proper form and kids and their caregivers need visuals to follow along with. I will say if you are not an OT or CODA and you don't want to purchase the AOTA version of our course, you want to purchase one of the lower priced courses, you can purchase the workbook as an add-on when you go to check out on the website. So you can still have access to the book if you purchase the course because it is a great resource. The next one we want to share with you is a book and it's called The Symphony of Reflexes. And what I really like about this book is it kind of describes these reflexes as integrating as a symphony and how all of the pieces have to come together in order for our brains and our bodies to perform at their highest level. And this one includes some activities, they talk about laser therapy, which we don't necessarily work with. but. It has a lot of great foundational information on a variety of reflexes, not just the ones that we specialize in, but it's a great, great book. I highly recommend it. The next one is specifically geared towards OTs and CODAs, OTAs, because you can earn continuing education with this next one. And it is the Primitive Reflex Summit from Sensational Brain. This is a pre-recorded continuing education video summit course that you can view on demand after you purchase it. You get your continuing education units and it really talks you through a variety of different treatment plans and strategies for primitive reflexes, including testing and integration. Um, there's also some information on primitive reflexes in infancy and babies and younger children, as well as our older children, our school age children. So that's a great one. We'll link it in the description. Another great book or, you know, books, anything written by Sally Goddard. She is kind of like the queen queen <laughs> of kind of the, the program that we follow and what we love so much about reflex integration and movement-based reflex integration programs. She has a variety of books. One of our favorites is reflexes, learning, and behavior. It's a purple book. It's really hard to get your hands on for some reason. But it's so worth it. It's so worth it. She also has a book for adults that kind of goes through some activities and information and screening for adults because we do get a lot of people asking about how to integrate these reflexes for adults. And our course doesn't specifically cover reflex integration for adults, but all of the principles can be applied. But this book definitely goes into a little bit more detail on reflex integration for adults. So anything by Sally Goddard, her books are fantastic. The next one is a book series, and this book series was actually written by a fellow OT on primitive reflexes, and it's all about how to integrate primitive reflexes through play, which we are really big on. We love that because that's how children learn and grow. It's what they're motivated by is through play. So this book series, you can find it on Amazon. There's a different book for each of the primitive reflexes, and it's super simple. It's easy for parents to understand, but it's also very very, very helpful for therapists. If you're working in the clinic, get this book series and have the books available maybe in your lobby for families to look through. That would be a great way for your clients to learn more. I also like that this company has a reflex memory game as well. I haven't actually played it before, but I have seen it and I have my eye on it. Um, it seems really cool and it's a great way to, again, incorporate those reflex activities during play and to make it fun and functional. The next resource we want to share with you is a workbook, a curriculum called Crawling for Brain Development. And this takes activities and information and it just makes a five-week guided program that you can 
integrate into your classroom, into your daily activities, just to make crawling, reflex integration, sensory integration easy. It is kind of in the process of being launched right now, so you can uh, go to the description and we'll have all the details in there for you to check it out, but it is a really neat program that is kind of new to the market. The next one that we're gonna recommend you use is Google Scholar. So this is where we go to find all of our research. It's where we went to get all of the research for our course when we were getting it approved through AOTA. And you can filter out the results by the year so you can see the most recent research that's out there on primitive reflexes. You can find research on primitive reflexes in infancy, adolescents, adults. And it's a, just a great library to browse through to find the most up-to-date sources out there on primitive reflexes and to keep up to date as new research comes out. Yep. The next one is our certification in primitive reflexes and we took this through PESI, P-E-S-I. Karen Pryor was the teacher and I believe it was like 18 hours of continuing education <laughs> videos and, and post tests and then we had to go on and meet with Karen and we got to we got to we got yes, to it do was fabulous. like a meeting with her which was great because I was actually able to talk to her about some of my clients that I'm working with and the challenges they're having related to primitive reflexes so it was almost like a brainstorming session with her which was so cool mm -hmm. we also interviewed her on our podcast previously which we will link that in the description as well because she's just a wealth of knowledge and the course was fabulous it Kind of, it didn't follow our exact same protocol that we love to do and that we teach in our course, but it definitely works on more of the neuro side of it, which I think is so fabulous to have that background when you are working on reflex integration. Yes. So important. The last one that we're gonna share here for you is also geared towards therapists and OT practitioners. We highly recommend that you join AOTA. There's research, courses, all kinds of resources on primitive reflexes inside AOTA. So we will link that in the show notes so that you can check it out and make sure that you stay up to date with it mm -hmm. if you are a practicing OT. Yep. So that is it. 10 resources for you to learn all the things that you can about primitive reflexes. We have everything linked in the description so you can save this video, you can send it to a friend, you can share it on social media, whatever you wanna to do to spread the word. We've got to help everyone understand the importance of primitive reflexes so that way we can get all of our kids, all of our clients out of that lower functioning, that lower brainstem part of functioning into the higher level learning capability. If you enjoyed this video, let us know. Make sure you click the like button, leave us a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like we already mentioned, listen to our podcast, All Things Sensory by Harkla. We've got tons and tons of episodes. We've been doing the podcast for almost six years, so you can always find a podcast to answer your question. Yep. And then be sure you're following us on Instagram. We are at Harkla underscore family, as well as at All Things Sensory Podcast. We share a lot of free information at there as well. Okay, that is it. We will plan on seeing you next week. New York, New York, New York, New York.